My identification number. And how are you going to get that? You John Legato Show. I'm John Legato. Let's meet Auditor Hallie Tito. And the channel We the People is Tito's mouthpiece for this audit. In this hysterical interaction with these petty childish tyrants from the Placer County Sheriff's Office proves to us that Callie Tito, who doesn't take any junk from anyone, really deserves more exposure. Hysterical interaction? Well, I'm not sure about that, but uh, the description that... Cali Tito, who doesn't take any junk from anyone... Well, that claim was false. As you'll see, Tito take a lot of junk from Deputy Matt Spencer. You got someone thinks he's a tough guy. All right, how you doing? I'm doing a little bit better if I can find out why you're recording me. I'm sorry? I would be doing a little bit better if I could find out why you're recording me. Who are you? I'm the person you were recording when I drove through. And who are you? I don't have to tell you that. I'm you know, that's an interesting legal issue. At this point, does Deputy Spencer, who is off duty, so does he have a duty to identify himself? What's your take on this right now? Yeah, when you start recording people and they come up to you and ask you why they're re you're recording them, <coughs> you're causing it. What's so her name? No. What's her name, city? I'm a concerned citizen. You're an employee you're of the county. What's your name? What makes you think I'm an employee? Because you just pulled in an authorized personnel only gate. Yeah, What's your name? Why you're recording me. I don't have to tell you that. You don't have to. I'm wondering. Though. So I'm tell afraid. me your name or f off. Excuse me? Tell me your name or f off. I can stand right here. You can do I whatever want. you want, clown. I can stand right here if I want. To. Keep getting in my face. I'm, I'm gonna take it as a threat. I'm not threatening keep, you. Keep, keep, keep approaching record, me. I am not a threat to him keep at all. approaching me, and I will person, take it as a threat. This violent person I'm is violent. Me. I'm violent. And, and using foul language to describe the situation. The moron. Now you got a name call. These are the people this that our tax dollars go for. Have a good day, sir. I'm having a good day, you Have clown. You feel better now, clown? I feel great. Yeah, I bet you do. You're a, you You're a loser. You're a loser. You are a really? loser. I'm going to work. Where are you going? You're the one who came to confront me over nothing over a camera. Did the camera hurt your feelings that Did the camera hurt your feelings that bad, tough guy? Did the camera hurt your feelings, no, tough guy? I, I'm not the one that had Did to your cam to foul language. Why you keep getting in my face? I'm not in your face. You walk towards me. Oh, I I'm walk towards right you. Here. You keep approaching my here. face. I'm you ain't I'm approaching your you face. You ain't You're not going to do anything about it. I never said I was. All auditors talk and act tough, except when someone calls their bluff. Keep getting in my face, I'm, I'm going to take it as a threat. You're not going to do anything about it. I never said I was. Keep, keep approaching record, me. Not a threat to him keep at all. approaching me, this and I will person. take it as a threat. You're not going to do anything about it. I never said I was. Did the camera hurt your feelings that... The did the line. camera hurt your feelings that bad, tough guy? No, not at all. Did the camera hurt your feelings, no, tough guy? I, I, you're not going to do anything about it. I never said I was. So clearly, auditors don't back up their threats, and Hallie Toda just proved it with the most basic challenge one man can make to another man when threatened. Deputy Spencer said, You keep approaching my here. face. You I'm ain't I'm approaching your you face. You ain't You're not going to do anything about it. And the deputy delivers the, the fatal verbal blow after embarrassing the honor of another man. You're not going to do anything about it. I never said I was. That's You're the right. one who keeps getting thought. in my face. That's what I thought. So after his uh, defeat, Tito does what all cowards do to try to regain some testosterone. 
by going with false bravado. But he and everyone watching this knows it's way too late for that. What you thought is nothing. You're a clown. I want your name awesome. and badge. I want your f***ing name and identification number. And how are you going to get that? You work for the county. How Don't... are you going to get that? You work for... I'll Subpoena get it. it. I'll get it by Subpoena. putting your face on a records request, you punk-ass clown. Fuck you. You ain't worth a dime, you you probably used to people bowing down to your little bitch ass. I don't bow down, punk. You're not going to do anything about it. I never said I was. I don't bow down and lick boots. You're a fucking coward. You're not going to do anything about it. I never said I was. There's his license plate, too. I'm at... Oh, now you want to do the high and mighty after you came and started some shit. You're a coward. And this hysterical interaction with these petty childish tyrants from the Placer County Sheriff's Office proves to us that Cali Tito, who doesn't take any junk from anyone, You're not gonna do anything about it. I never said I was. No matter how much he wants to deny it, Deputy Matt Spencer has a serious ego problem, as proven in this video. When he pulled into that parking lot aggressively right next to Cali Tito, you could tell right off the bat this guy was going to be some kind of punk. And wouldn't you know it, you'd be right. Trying to get Cali Tito's identification early on, trying to shift the blame on the auditor saying that the auditor caused a confrontation when he walked up to the auditor, and then trying to act all high and mighty after the confrontation was done. After he tried to use intimidation tactics and use physical threats by getting into Cali Tito's face. But let's be real. The main reason why I left the contact information down below to the Placer County Sheriff's Office is because of the next video where Cali Tito tries to file a complaint against that public servant. So let's follow uh, Cali Tito, file a complaint in hopes that this may restore some of his reputation as a man. That Cali Tito, who doesn't take any junk from anyone. Hi, can I help you? Good afternoon. So I had an encounter out here on this what would you call um facility property the other day with an employee of the jail i'm You're not gonna do anything about it i never said i was you don't want to keep getting in my face that's what i thought an employee of the auburn jail came out to get in my face and act aggressively i want to file a formal complaint but i don't know his name i can't just send an anonymous you know some employee it has to go directly to him that's i'm not trying to get like his whole file or all of his records. I just need his officer so-and-so or, you know what I mean? And I, his... I do know what you mean. Why don't you have a seat? Because we'll have uh, someone come down from dispatch. And we'll call dispatch and have an officer come down and they can help you. All right. I appreciate that. All right. May I have your name, please? Amy. Amy. Yeah. And what's your name, sir? I'm a citizen of Placer County. So, how are you doing? I'm all right. How about yourself? I'm sorry? Were you up here yelling and causing a ruckus earlier? I don't know. Only a video will tell since I've been recording this whole time. You can hang out here and do what you got to do. No problem. I just can't have you creating a disturbance and uh, yelling or making... Uh, do you have any proof I was doing so, Sergeant? Deputy? Do you have any proof that you weren't? I don't answer questions. Okay. All right. So here we have Amy. She lied to dispatch and said I was yelling inside the front lobby. Well, at this point, uh, whether or not Amy said what Tito claimed, following her to the car in an empty parking lot at dusk is way out of bounds. All right, so here we have Amy. She lied to dispatch and said I was yelling inside the front lobby. She said that I was causing a disturbance. There's her license plate. Now, the spin you're about to hear is bizarre. I mean, it's just bizarre. Amy is filming this bearded cretin for her own safety and is quickly heading to her car. And you would be, too. She lied to dispatch and said I was yelling inside the front lobby. So let's head back to that lobby and note when Tito cuts his camera off. May I have your name, please? Amy. Amy. Yeah, and what's your name, sir? I'm a citizen of Placer County. All right, thank you. Now Tito cuts and skips to a, a time in the future. We don't know what happened in that lobby during the time period between Amy left and this scene with the deputy sheriffs. Were you up here yelling and causing a ruckus earlier? I don't know. Only a video will tell. I just can't have you creating a disturbance and uh, yelling or making... Uh... Do you have any proof I was doing so, Sergeant? Deputy? Do you have any proof that you weren't? 
we have no idea what happened uh, during the time that Amy left to get someone to handle Tito's complaint. But if I had to believe somebody, it'd be Amy. Now, that's my take on it. What's yours? John Legato Show is being brought to you from right outside the gates of Marine Corps Base Camp Lejeune in beautiful North Carolina. Hit all those buttons. I'd, I'd appreciate it. Semper Fidelis.